Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and today we're going to look at normal distribution and we're going to look at the probability of finding a value below or less than our point on the curve. So we have the average weight of an English Bulldog known to be 50 pounds and we have a standard deviation of 3 pounds. We're going to make the assumption that the weights are normally distributed and if a Bulldog is selected at random we want to know what's the probability it's going to weigh less than 47.2 pounds. So here at the beginning we're going to establish that our mean is 50 pounds. And we're going to locate our 47.2 pounds down here. So that makes my x value 47.2 pounds and we want to know the probability that it weighs less than this 47.2 pounds. So the first thing that we've got to do is we've got to convert that value of x to a z-score. We're going to do that by taking 47.2 minus the mean of 50 divided by the standard deviation. Right? Because we remember that this formula is always x minus mu divided by the standard deviation. It gives us a z-score of a negative 0.93. Remember we knew that that was going to be a negative z-score because our value of x fell to the left of the mean. So here I am with my normal distribution table and I'm going to look up my z-score of negative 0.93. So here's my 0.9, here I'm going to pick up the 0.3, the intersection of those two tells me that 0.3238 or 32.38 percent of the data or the values in my distribution are going to fall below 0.93 standard deviations from the mean. So we recall that here was our x of our 47.2 pounds. We were looking for this area here. What the normal distribution table told us was that 32.38 fell between my value of x and the mean of the distribution. I know that this entire side of the curve is equal to 0.5. So I'm simply going to take that 0.5 minus my 0.3238, which will isolate that area in the tail. And so now I know that the probability that a bulldog weighs less than 47.2 pounds is 17 0.62%. So that's for a value that falls below the mean. Let's look at a value that falls above the mean. So the weight of our English Bulldogs are still known to be 50 pounds, standard deviation of 3 pounds, normally distributed. So if a Bulldog is selected at random, what's the probability that it will weigh less than 56.8 pounds? So I have my mean established here at 50. And now I'm going to find my value of x. And I'm going to say up here that x is equal to 56.8 pounds. And I want the probability that it weighs less. So just like in the previous um, instance, we convert our value of x to a z. 56.8 pounds was my value of x minus the mean of 50 divided by the standard deviation gives me a z-score of 2.27. That's a positive z-score because 56.8 is above the mean. Now we're going to look that 2.27 up in our normal distribution table. So I've got 2.27. So again, I'm going to pick up my 2.2 here. I'm going to pick up my 0.07 here. I'm going to look at the intersection of those two and I find that 0.4844 or 48.84 percent of the data is associated with a z-score of 2.27. So we had our area between the mean here and our value of x. Remember this is my x equal to the 56.8 pounds 
and we identified this area as 0.4884. But I wanted the probability of less, so that means I need to include this entire left-hand side of the curve. And so where in the previous instance we subtracted, now we add the 0.5 to get this, in to this entire area. And so now I know that the probability that we randomly select one of these bulldogs and it weighs less than 56.85 is 98.84%. So depending upon where your value of x falls relative to this mean is going to be the deciding factor of whether you need to subtract or add the 0.5. As always, I hope you found this helpful and thanks for watching.